Thank you for joining McCormick Systems in video number four, Extend. After we've completed our takeoff, everything has been auto-saved, so we can just hit step number four, Extend. This brings us directly into our instant extension. Notice that all of your takeoff and assemblies have been quantified from step number three, Takeoff, into a neat material list. Notice on the left hand side the name of your extension and bit summary. This can be set up in a paste from job template or we can rename it here. I'll just name this base bid one. Now let's take a look at the pricing and labor that we have chosen for this report. Up on the extension report bar you have a drop down. This is where you can pick the report for this extension. So what price and what labor do we want to use? I'm going to choose price one and bid labor report. This now instantly changes to our new price and new labor. For most users they will be utilizing the same price and same labor for most of the time. Go ahead and set this to a default report. That way when you come in next time it'll already be set. Now that we've set our price and labor, let's talk about the makeup of the extension process. The first important thing to realize is that every extension has two tabs you will be working in, a labels and a material list tab. The labels tab decides what you are viewing on the material list tab. It is important to note that every new extension every label will be checked so it will be your job to decide what base bid one will consist of so i'm going to uncheck my alternates and change orders so they are not represented on my material list again we're dealing with an instant extension list so if i just wanted to see the totals for floor one i can uncheck the other floors and instantly see my total cost and total labor hours for floor one Okay, let's make base bid consist of all the floors, so I'm going to bring those back into my extension. You can see instantly, there's our full report again. Okay, let's talk about different ways that we can now view the material. See the two expand and collapse buttons up top? If I click on the collapse labels, you will see a total for my one label set. If I click on the collapse button for the cost codes, you will now see a total for each cost code under this label set. We can get even more detail by going to our labels and separating out our labels for viewing in our material list. Let's collapse those labels and you can now see floor one, floor two, and floor three totals. I'll go ahead and expand those labels and now collapse the cost codes. And we can now see total cost codes for each floor. With McCormick, the view options are limitless and customizable. Want to drill down a certain list? Simply click the arrows on the left hand side. We can also filter our material list by zero price, zero labor, and quoted items. Here's a zero price, I've got nothing with zero price. Here's a zero labor, nothing with zero labor, and here are my quoted items. An easy view list. These lists are live. If you were to add a price for one of these quoted items, it will disappear off the list. Okay, let's go back to our full material list and bring that filter back to none. Remember, these lists are live, so if you were to change that quoted price on the quoted report, it will now show up on your full list report with a price. Let's now talk about editing these reports. You can edit anything you want on these reports. Quantity, price, labor, and it will not affect your takeoff or your permanent database. I'll go ahead and change this price of half inch EMT to $36 a hundred. You can see it instantly does the math in your extended price to the right. Same thing for bid labor. Let's change this to 1.8 hours per hundred Hit enter and it will change that extended labor hours to the right in the blue. You will also notice your totals on the top right hand side. These are also live with the report so they will change as you change the report. Alright that's base bid. Let's create another summary. I want to create this summary as just floor one. I want that to be its own separate entity. Hit your rename button and change that summary to floor one. Remember, each new summary comes with all labels checked, so it is your job to determine 
what floor one consists of. So in my labels tab, I've unchecked all floors except for floor one and I've separated out the systems. There's my brand new report for just floor one. I'm going to collapse the labels and you can now see my power and lighting. Remember my change in the first report of base bid for half inch EMT? You can now see that change reflected on all future reports. So my half inch EMT is still at 3600 and my bid labor is at 1.8 hours 100. I will show you how to unlink these reports later. All right, let's make one more summary here. We'll make summary three, floor two. I want that as its own separate bid. Remember to rename the bid summary to floor two. So again, we're going to get rid of the labels that aren't used for floor two. So we'll get rid of the alternates, floor one, three, and four, and we're going to separate those systems. And here we go. This is my material list, pricing, and labor report for just floor two. Now let me show you the unlink button. Unlink allows you to detach a report from live updating. So if you were to go back and do more takeoff, or if you were to change pricing in any other report, it will not affect this report. Essentially, an unlinked report is on its own. You can make any changes you want to this report, or make any changes to any other report, and it will not affect the other. To reiterate, the changes that I've made to this unlinked Floor 2 report will only affect this Floor 2 report. It will not go back and change the pricing on Floor 1 or my base bid reports. To bring a report back to live status, simply hit the link button. Just to quickly take a look at the difference in pricing, if I go back to my Floor 1 linked report, you can see my mud ring at 359. If I go back to Floor 2, you will notice the changes are only set for Floor 2 at 200 per 100. You may lock the state of a report at any time. So if I'm on Floor 2 and I choose locked, I am now unable to change anything on the report or the label section of Floor 2. If I attempt to make a change, it will give me a warning telling me that I cannot make that change because it is locked. Same thing in the labels. If I try to uncheck a label at a locked state, it will not allow me to do this. To unlock, just set the lock state again. Finally, when we're done and we are ready to send a bid summary, we simply hit send to summary. This will automatically send your two final numbers to the bid summary in step number five. It is worth noting that once you send your extension to your number five step bid summary, your reports automatically enter a locked and unlinked state. Also, notice the icon that your base bid one has been sent to bid summary. And remember to link and unlock your extension to resend changes to your bid summary. Thank you again for joining us. Please check out video number five, bid summary, to complete your bid.